So if we open up the plant by clicking on the plant name. So here you've got your current status at the top. So you can see how much you've generated today, how much you've generated this month, this year, and your total since you had the system installed. Your total revenue for today, and your total capacity of what you've got installed on your roof. If we go down to the power flow, so this is an overview of what is happening with your system at the moment. So you can see at the moment I'm generating 435 watts. 279 watts is going back into the battery. The battery state of charge is currently at 79%. There's 126 watts going to the house. And there's 36 watts coming in from the grid. This is just a grid trickle feed to prevent feedback. We go further down, you can look at your inverter status so we can see it's normal, it's not offline, there's zero warnings and zero faults. The generation purpose, so this is showing you what I've consumed today, how much I've exported and how much I've used charging my battery. If we go further down, we can look at the energy generation throughout the day. So your PV is your solar, your battery, state of charge, load, and grid. So the percentage on the right hand side is only relating to your state of charge, which is this blue line here. On the left hand side, this is showing you in kilowatts. So as we go along, so here for example, at 2.35 a.m. My state of charge was 78%. My load was 130 watts. I was pulling nothing from the grid and I was providing the load and the inverter from a battery. If we head over to month, This will show you the total value. So today, those are my figures. Yesterday, the day before that, and so on. We can also head over to year. And this will show you each month out of the year. If we head over to total, that will show you a total value of generation, load, export, import, discharge and charge. If you want to view more in-depth statistics, then you need to go to the equipment tab. Here you have multiple options, output, input, battery, grid, load and you also have this custom view. In the custom view, you can select multiple different parameters to filter down your searching. If we go back to output, you can see the different types of things you can see within this breakdown, such as the current, voltage, frequency, and you can also go back and look at historic data. You can also look at the day, month, year and total.